this is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now hit that like button to show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Ric Flair, woo! Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is the one, the only, AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC. And at the time of this recording, AMC is currently $42 a share, baby. But you already know we got in this back when it was $12 a share. And I'm going to update you on the Neo calls like we always do. So take a look at this. Someone had just recently asked me, they were like, Keenan, do you still have the $85 strike for September 17th? Absolutely, baby. And we up 5% on that. That's on the bottom. Then we got a Neo $50 strike for January 2022. What I want you to notice about all of these is how much time we have to hit the home run on these plays, family. We got months and months and months, even on the shortest one in length. Now, look at this. We got one that's down 17%, but that's nothing for an option, baby. We got another one that's up 101%. Let's get it. But all in all, on all of the calls and the stocks for Neo, we are up $8,200 on the play. Let's get it. Discord family, major salute. And if you want to be in the Discord with us and be up on the plays early as we are, hit that Discord link in the top comment. We're going to welcome you with open arms, baby. And hit that BlockFi link so you can load up on some free crypto. Hit that Weeble link so you can load up on some free stocks. But now, let's talk about it. I do want you to know this. They just released the dark pool percentage data for last Friday. Take a look at this, family. It says, as of July 9th, the dark pool percentage of all of the volume that was totally traded that day is all the way up to 64 percent nine percent why is that important that's important for this very reason when you buy from any broker nowadays it's looking like they're rerouting your buying pressure for amc stocks specifically over to the dark pool and this high percentage basically confirms that why is that important it's important for this very reason family when all of the buying pressure on amc is not on the stock exchange that you are trading on then guess what all of the buying pressure is on the dark pool and it doesn't bring the stock up like it would naturally do on the stock market but all of the selling pressure is basically happening on the stock market and then bringing the stock price down rather than bringing it up now all of this is happening based Basically over on the dark pool where they reroute on us now let's look at the dark pool and then let's get right into like we always do with the molly fool but first let's take a look at this dark pool data family if you look as of july 12th it says that their position in dollars is 14.3 billion so again there's evidence that they are loading up over on the dark pool three 14.3 billion dollars worth family that's crazy that's absolutely crazy however it's looking like it's less than it actually was in the past but it's still in the billions and billions of dollars okay now you know what hat you need off of this baby i just hope you brought your idiot hats let's get some idiot hats in the chat but here we go take a look at this the one the only the motley fool and i mentioned this on my live and we talked about it briefly but now i got all of the facts ready to break your mother back here we go eight lies according to them according to the molly fool now this is just my reaction to it but let's get it and let's back it up with facts like we always do so eight lies that have fueled the amc entertainment pump and dump scheme they're calling this a pump and dump scheme let's watch and let's look at the lies and see if they have any validity to them so lie number one according to them is that hedge fund short selling bankrupts companies and i told you again on a live earlier about this but let's get to the facts and the details family i did the research so i know you know about toys r us and how you don't see toys r us in your local malls anymore you don't see baby r us in any of these places anymore what happened take a look at this and this is from usa today basically all the way back in 2018 they were covering this and it said amazon didn't kill toys r us like you would think oh everybody's ordering things online from amazon this must have happened to toys r us watch this watch how nasty this is a or Amazon, you know I got AMC on the brain, Amazon didn't kill Toys R Us, greedy Wall Street profiteers did. Now, how did they do it? Take a look at this. It started back in 2005, where Wall Street firms paid $6 billion to buy Toys R Us, but they only spent $1 billion of their own money to do so. The rest of it, they picked it up in loans. So totally they had $6 billion and $1 billion came out of their own pockets, family, for Toys R Us. But watch this. Make sure you're paying attention. It said, when Toys R Us was purchased, the new owners basically took that $5 billion in debt and tacked it on to all of the assets that Toys R Us had. So now they basically used all of the debt that they had and gave it to Toys R Us. Now, then what did they do? They then also added on the 400 million in interest payments on that $5 billion of debt. Why is that important? Because the company back then, take a look at this. It was one fifth of all US toy sales. They were responsible for that, but they were still turning a profit at the time, but they were going out of business because it could not 
overcome the burden of debt that it had just required or acquired from its new investors. Why were they doing this? Why would you put all this debt on a company? Because they were short selling it. When you short sell a company, you want the stock of the company to go down. And then they were forcing it to go down to the point that they were willing to buy the company and then force it to go down by giving it all of this debt. And then what happened to the people who were working in these stores? Take a look at what happened to the little guy working in these stores. They said that basically 800 of the stores were closed and then 30,000 people lost their jobs with this. And then how did the big dogs make it out of this? Everybody who was at the top of the game, they call them the equity tycoons. They basically walked away with more than $200 million in bonuses, family. Let's look at the next lie on the list. And it says this, shorts have to cover. Apparently, according to the Molly Fool, shorts don't have to cover, according to them, allegedly, right? This is what they're saying here. Take a look at this. We know, according to Ortex, that there's a minimum of 92 million shares of AMC that are out and being shorted, and the shorts have to cover. How do we know this? Let's look at how a short sale works. Let's look at the rules, according to Investopedia, right? Take a look. It says, to open a short position, to even get a short position, you must have a margin account, a loan account, and then, basically, you got to pay interest on some shares that you borrowed, okay? And then what? How do you close it out? How do you complete the circle? Just like this. You close it out by buying the shares back from the market. Okay, so we just proved that they have to buy it back right here, right now. You buy it back from the market and then return it to the lender. So it's literally like that. You have your broker, they lend the shares to the short seller, and then the short seller puts it in the market, the stock drops, and then the short seller basically buys it back from the market, and then step five, you give it back to the broker. It's as simple as that. We just debunked another one. Let's go to another one. It says, lie number three is the short squeeze is coming around the corner. And then it says in smaller print that unfortunately, it's been five months since this ongoing claim has been making its rounds. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. You're telling me that they're saying that the short squeeze is coming around the corner. First of all, nobody ever said that. We always say, don't get caught up in dates. Don't get caught up in dates, diamond hand, because we know they have to buy these shares back. So that's first of all, everybody's basically saying that, but I want you to see this. You're saying that basically it's been five months and these ongoing claims are just taking their rounds. Take a look at this. Year to date, AMC is basically up 1900%. So what are you talking about? It used to be $2 and now it's $42 and they still have millions of fails to delivers to cover. They still have over 90 million just authorized shares to cover. Who knows how many synthetic shares they have to cover. And look, and we already got from two all the way to 42 and we still have all of this extra stuff to still be done that wasn't there in the past. So we are not even at the squeeze. So let's keep it going. Number four is this, fundamentals don't matter. Funny story, and you're saying that fundamentals don't matter. It's funny that the short squeeze play, how everyone's playing this for the short squeeze, actually made the fundamentals of the company better. Take a look at this. They said that the total equity raised in the second quarter for AMC is $1.2 billion that substantially strengthened AMC's balance sheet. So everybody playing this AMC stock short squeeze play for a short squeeze, basically add it to the fundamentals of the company. Okay, we knocked another lie out. And then it said this one, hedge funds control the mainstream media. Let's take a look at this. Remember, and we're gonna debunk all of these lies. So remember how Market Watch posted an article and I debunked this and it said, the biggest short squeezes in the stock market, including Virgin Galactic and AMC Networks. Keep in mind, family, those of you who are new baby apes, you may not know, AMC Networks is not AMC Entertainment. So take a look, here's their list. And if you look underlined in red, it says AMC Entertainment or AMC AMC Networks Inc., which is AMC X. They're trying to push all of these other kind of stocks and just flip flop you out of your shares so you don't buy AMC, you buy AMC X by accident. Remember everybody was doing that by accident? How did this start? Mainstream media. Mainstream media putting misinformation out. And then who is Market Watch owned by? They're owned by News Corp. Who is News Corp owned by? They're owned by Citadel Advisors. They have $169 million worth of ownership in this company. What are you talking about? And let's be clear on this, and this is allegedly right allegedly market watch or not even market watch the molly fool if you look at the web archive because when you put something on the internet it's always on the internet and if you look at the web archive according to the web archive allegedly that citadel is also a sponsor of the motley fool and so is marvin or melvin capital both of them 
are sponsors of the Molly Fool, allegedly. Now, let's go to number six. Number six is this, and this is about the person who posted this article. And it says, you're obviously short on the play. And he said, I've personally been told on social media that I'm obviously short. So number six, we're not gonna argue with what's going on with you personally, that doesn't really matter. So we'll leave that one alone. That's debunked automatically, who cares? So then, now the next one says that lie number seven is BlackRock and Vanguard buying AMC stock is a bullish factor. Now, take a look at this, family. Vanguard and a and BlackRock, the two largest basically institutions in the world that load up on stocks, they basically increased their positions by 390% and then 333% respectively, family. They loaded up. They didn't just buy it when it was $2 and load up. They bought it when it was $12 and they kept loading up and loading up and loading up because they are ready for what we are ready for, family. And they wanted to get a piece of the pie. Next on the list, and notice that Vanguard and BlackRock, in doing so, they've made themselves the two largest owners of AMC possible. And this was not the case before. Okay, now, number eight says this apes saved amc this is supposedly the last lie let's put the nail in the coffin family let's put the nail in the coffin amc ceo adam aaron raved about its new investors aka the apes and we are at odds with wall street and then it says on this it says right here during thursday's earning call he thanked millions of reddit and robin hood traders who boosted the company's stock Come on now, come on now. We just literally debunked all of them. And if you go to NASDAQ.com, it said that AMC is basically flushed with cash. And AMC stock, basically analysts, some of them said it's still a buy. Why? Because AMC now, because of the apes, it now has at least one year of a cash runway. So if they didn't have any money coming in, they could run the company for a whole year without earning a single dollar. That's what we talking about, baby. So I want you to know that you gotta stay up on the facts and don't let these companies fool you, baby. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. I love y'all. Take care.